Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today we will be setting up our very own VPN completely free using Google Cloud Platform. And yes, you heard that right, forever free. Before we dive into the setup, let's talk about why you might want to do this. You've probably seen tons of ads for VPN services. They promise the world, total anonymity, blazing fast speeds, and unblocking everything. But the reality, it's often a very different story. The truth is, many commercial VPNs have some serious drawbacks. First off, they can be expensive. You're paying a monthly fee, often for speeds that aren't as fast as advertised. But the bigger issue is trust. Can you really trust a VPN company with all of your internet traffic? There have been cases in the past where some VPN providers, despite their no-logs promises, have been found to share user data or cooperate with authorities. I am not saying all VPN companies are bad, but how can you trust them? For example, in 2017, a VPN provider, PureVPN, assisted the FBI in catching a cyber stalker by providing logs. See, I am not taking sides with criminals, but I am talking about ethics. The fact that these companies claim they don't store data, but they do. So how do we solve this? By setting up your own VPN server on Google Cloud. Google provides 300 in free credits, which is more than enough for the first three months. After that period, you have options. Create a new account to get more free credits or utilize Google's always free tier. This tier offers an E2 micro instance and one GB of free bandwidth per month. Even exceeding that bandwidth is extremely affordable, costing only a few cents. This means you can have a high performance personal VPN at virtually no cost. All right, let's get started. This is a step-by-step -step guide. I will also link in description box, so don't worry if you're not a tech expert. Just follow along and you'll have your own VPN up and running in no time. First, you'll need a Google Cloud Platform, GCP or account. We're in the GCP console. The first thing we do is create a new project. Click on Create Project. Let's give it a name. Now go inside the newly created project. Now we'll create a virtual machine. This is where our VPN server will live. Go to Compute Engine, then VM Instances, and click Create Instance. Name, let's give it a name. Region Zone, pick a region from where you need to access the VPN. Machine Type, choose E2 Micro. This is part of Google Cloud's always free tier, meaning it won't cost you anything to run for a single instance, as long as you stay within the free tier limits. Boot Disk. We'll use Ubuntu. It's a popular and easy-to-use Linux distribution. Firewall. Make sure to check the boxes to allow both HTTP and HTTPS traffic. This is important for general internet access through your VPN. Finally, click Create. Now, once the instance is created, we need to create a firewall rule. We need to tell Google Cloud to allow VPN traffic to reach our server. Go to VPC Network, then Firewall, and create firewall rule. Give it a name. Target all instances in the network. Give IPv4 range. Protocol, select UDP. Ports, enter 1194. This is the standard port for OpenVPN. Click Create. Now we need to reserve a static external IP. To make sure our VPN server always has the same IP address, we'll reserve a static IP. Go to VPC network, then external IP addresses. Click reserve static address. Give it a name, attach it to your VM instance. Now let's connect to the instance via SSH. Copy-paste the commands given in the document step-by-step. Step. Let's install OpenVPN. The script will now guide you through some configuration options. IPM address. Enter the static external IPR with the address you reserved earlier.
protocol, stick with UDP. I will choose the Cloudflare DNS and rest of the steps keep default. Give your client a name. Add a passwordless client. The script will do its thing and generate a configuration file for your VPN client. This file will end in OVPN, which we can verify by hitting the LS command. For added security, we will configure firewall. We will run three commands. Just copy and paste. Now most of the guides on internet will end here, but there's a flaw currently. What we have done so far impacts the IPv4 which the VPN is able to hide. It's the old internet protocol. The new protocol, which is IPv6. If your VPN doesn't block it, websites can see your real location through your IPv6 ad uh, address. Your open VPN setup is only routing IPv4 traffic through the VPN, but your device might still be leaking IPv6 traffic. Let's fix this. To start with, we will first disable IPv6 traffic in GCP VM. Copy and paste the commands. First open config file, then copy and paste these lines at the end of file. Once done, press Ctrl plus O, then enter, and then Ctrl plus X to exit. Then below command to apply the changes. Now we will follow same steps to block IPv6 in OpenVPN. Copy and paste the commands. Configuration file is created. Now the important part, getting that configuration file onto your computer or phone. In the SSH terminal, we will run a command and it will show you the contents on the terminal. We will copy the entire text from client to TLS script, then paste it in the text file and save the file as a .ovpn extension. Almost there. Now install an OpenVPN client on the device you want to use the VPN on. There are clients for Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS. Import the configuration file we just saved, connect, and that's it. You're now connected to your own private VPN. To double check, you can go to a website like whatsmyup.com and it should show the IP address of your Google Cloud server, not your home IP address. If needed, set up two-factor authentication for OpenVPN. Congratulations, you've now got your own personal, free VPN server running on Google Cloud. You're in control of your privacy, saving money, and potentially getting better speeds. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone who might benefit from a free and secure VPN solution. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.